Hey guys, Jonathan Castro of Off Leash Canine Training in Orlando. And today we have Gypsy. She's a one year old Belgian Malinois. And she's going to be here for our two week boarding train. Some of the issues her owners are having are they say that uh, she doesn't like to listen to any of her commands even though she knows them, uh, especially when she's distracted. They also can't walk her on a leash because she knows how to get out of her collar. And when she gets out, she just bolts off. Um, so we're going to see what she knows. Gypsy, come. Gypsy, come. Gypsy, sit. Gypsy, sit. Gypsy, sit. Gypsy, down. 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 Good girl. Gypsy, please. Good girl. Gypsy, come. Good girl. So, I can tell she has some kind of understanding, but we're going to need to work on all that. And I'm excited to see how she does over the next two weeks. Cut.
Hello, uh, I'm Zach McCallum. I'm Christina. Uh, we are the McCallums. Uh, Jonathan was our trainer uh, and he did a good job with our pups. Uh, we sent him two of our dogs. Uh, one was Gypsy, who is the uh, Belgian Malinois. Uh, the second is Bruno, who is a blue nosed pit bull. Um, Gypsy was a crazy wild one who she was a typical Belgian. Yes, exactly. If you Google High Belgians, energy. Exactly. That's exactly what she is. Crazy. She still has high energy, but uh, it's a lot more controllable now. We used um, to not be able to even let her outside, and now we have been walking her um, through like seven states. Seven She's states. come with yep. us so far. <laughs> yeah, we're traveling in our RV. You see there in the background. <laughs> But uh, so both dogs are doing good on our trip. Um, they're both a work in progress, but like we, like I said, it's like night and day, the difference in their behaviors and the difference in like uh, the way they obey our commands. Um, they, did a good, they did a really good job. Um, Bruno, um, he's kind of stubborn, so it's good to, you know, have him put in there just to kind of. And we had him trained to be a therapy dog. Um, so he's, he's really been good with all different ages of people. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, uh, we'd say that uh, we'd recommend the services. Yeah, we'd a... recommend off-leash only. Uh, we did the one in Orlando. Yep. And it, it worked out for us. Uh, hopefully if you're thinking about it, this might help uh, make your decision a little easier. If not, sorry. It's much more convenient now that for our sure. dogs are trained. They're controllable. <laughs> So, so it's a good investment. Yeah, and we feel like, you know, they, they listen to us now, whereas before uh, we'd have difficulties, uh, you know. Gypsy just would them, always run away. And Bruno just kind of did what he wanted. But now uh, they, they know the commands, and, you know, if they don't listen, then, you know, we know the steps to take in order to, to correct their behavior. So overall, it's a, a good investment, and we recommend it. Thank you, Jonathan. Thanks, Jonathan. Good job, brother. Appreciate it.